Hey, what's up, everyone? <coughs> this is Jimmy, if you remember me. Mm -hmm. And uh, today I'm here with my good friend... Brian. Uh, in Fuego Suego. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I just said. I'm not said. using that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you... Uh, hi, I'm Jimmy. You may remember me from such great Let's Plays as Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Budokai and nothing else. <laughs> It really wasn't that good. Yeah. But Dragon Ball Z Budokai was a learning experience. Today I'm here to let's play one of my favorite third person shooters of all time, The Terminator, Dawn of Fate. And um, just to get this out of the way, we won't be talking over cutscenes, but there are radio conversations in this that are similar somewhat to Ooh, the Codex things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I could see her in the shower there. Uh, so yeah, we will be talking about. Oh, is that a murder? <laughs> oh my god, he murdered his wife if only I wasn't stuck in this wheelchair. I'm not ripping off a movie. <laughs> okay, so, like, we won't be talking over cutscenes, but there are radio conversations in it that we will be talking over that they're similar to, like, the codec conversations in Metal Gear Solid. So, like, yeah. Science. Uh, yeah. Like, maybe in the beginning of the level we won't talk over it just to let what's going on settle in, but other than that, enjoy us. Enjoy less uh what level one i know i know man <laughs> enjoy you know less cutscenes and shit yeah so uh but yeah first of all in level one grave introduction i hope you people enjoy the long introductory cutscene suck it monkeys After 30 years of fighting the machines, humans have barely escaped extinction. Every year, Skynet unleashes new war machines against us, each one designed for a single purpose, to wipe us out. Every year, we continue to defy it by fighting back and striving to live another day. Some look on me as a messiah, John Connor, the warrior prophet come to lead humanity to victory if they only knew what I knew. In less than a week, Skynet will activate its latest invention, a time machine. It will send an infiltrator back to 1984 to kill my mother. Skynet hopes Sarah Connor's death will prevent my birth and rewrite history so I'll never lead the human resistance against the machine's rule. What Skynet doesn't know is that I'm ready to counter its plan. My TechCom forces are assembling to attack its home base at NORAD, buried deep within Cheyenne Mountain, Colorado. If we strike with speed and strength, we'll destroy the facility before our enemy has a chance to assault our past in order to attack our future. If we're too late to stop Skynet, I have a backup plan. A man named Kyle Reese. getting pounded out there, General Connor. We'll get you back into the fight, Captain Perry. But first, you should see what Haven sent us. Skynet's newest infiltration unit exactly mimics a human's appearance. These images were recovered from the security system at Oregon Base. You can see that the forward guards are unaware that the infiltrator has slipped past them and is already positioned deep inside their facility. At that point, it begins systematically killing everyone in its path.
Double security. We can't afford a major breach this close to our Colorado offensive. Yeah. That'll help. Reese, what's with Stone's attitude? He never got over losing his older brother Gabriel. None of us did. Leaving wounded soldiers behind is against our nature. But we could see that Skynet was prepared to ambush our extraction teams. Everyone understands that the needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dying. Everybody but Stone. He's just been blinded by grief. Grief is a fool's game. Stone better not let his emotions compromise this mission. Yeah, I pegged the T-800. Looks like the same model that hit Oregon. We gotta get the general to the evac point. What about the battle plans? We can't let Skynet get them. Check. Shoot out the mainframe so they start smoking. Avoid topside to round up the troops and do a damage assessment. Well, that was one long as hell cutscene. Welcome everyone to uh, let's play Terminator Donna Fay. Let's get on with this shit. What? What? I don't know, didn't you have some... No, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it. I, can't, I couldn't really think of a way to word it right. Well, anyway. Okay, so we were on, So the human base was just attacked by that guy with the minigun from the first Terminator movie in that flashback. Boy, this place is a mess. I guess this is what happens when Obamacare doesn't come fast enough. Come on, man, you're not contributing anything to this. This is supposed to be a team effort. It, what? <laughs> yes. All right, Imagine, so, like, going to the, like, in everyday life, how that would work. Like, you, mean the, you mean the flipping camera? Yeah, the flipping in camera. Oh, God. And I gotta take this shit really badly. Oh, oh, the door. Or right, it's closed. <laughs> and feces go everywhere. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta say, I love this game, but I have a lot of minor nitpicks and pet peeves about it. Uh, first of all, like, the weapon I'm using is bullets instead of lasers. How? Like, the instruction manual says, like, any bullet-based weapon is, like, made from depleted uranium. So, good luck getting cancer, everyone. I'm sure we have a cure for that in the future. You gotta think how they would make bullets like that without everyone getting some kind of, like, form of radiation sickness or something. Meh. Okay, secondly, um, they got the date wrong in the beginning. They said 2027. It's supposed to be 2029. Yeah, like, you could argue that, oh, it might take place a little bit before and it takes place over a couple years. No, they say that it takes place, like, a week or so before they actually send Kyle Reese back, which is in 2029. Looks like it's blocked, Reese. <clears throat> Okay, here's my here's another little pet peeve. You fight too many old model endos in this game. Like these are T four hundreds. Like I don't get why Skynet is sending all these like really old, rusty P 
pieces of junk at us. Low budget. Hey, I guess the economy's even hit the the uh, human killing machines pretty badly. No one's safe. Ah, there's my new sweatshirt. Fucking from Abercrombie or whatever. <laughs> oh, then must suck. <laughs> How much did you pay for that? Oh no! How much does a sweatshirt cost? At Ab at Abercrombie, probably a hundred and fifty dollars. At, ah! at a regular place, thirty. Fuck. Yeah, Abercrombie's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> any place that sells clothing for that much without like it having anything cool on it is bullshit. Any oh, store where you have, where a qualification is that you have to have washboard abs is bullshit. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I think they do stuff like that. Help us! We can't hold them! Do you- would you like to buy our Thin Mints? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Cyborg Girl Scouts! Oh god. Do you accept Skynet as your lord and savior? Help us! <laughs> okay, at least- I, or I order her mint fudge! <laughs> Okay, an easy way to kill these robots with a turret or like a regular weapon is to shoot off their head. It's easier with a turret here. Oh, and the turret overheats, so be careful. Oh, and another thing, you may be thinking the combat in this game is kind of stupid because, you know, the, ro the Terminators move so slow. And it's like, you know, why don't you just keep shooting, move faster, no wonder we kick your asses. How are we losing you pieces of shit? But other than that, this is a very superb third-person shooter. I think it's one of the best, and a very underrated game. And you have nothing to contribute. No, because I didn't play that much of this game, so I can't really say anything about... I don't, even, like, I don't even think people complain that much about the Resident Evil-style camera angles. No, like, it's not completely Resident Evil-style, because, like, yeah, the fixed, there are fixed camera angles, but in Resident Evil, the... Like, in this game, you notice how, like, the cameras, like, go pan and tilt and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, like, but in Resident Evil, they'll stay fixed on one angle no matter what. They won't, like, pan or tilt or anything. Oh, man, how the hell are you ex gonna explain this to the insurance guy? <laughs> man, insur man, insurance fuckers are ne never, uh, n never take any story. Not even post-apocalyptic, uh, scenarios and machines attacking. Fucking Geico. Hey, I love Geico. <laughs> I don't know, never had to use them. Keep getting behind us. we got to shut them down. There are two fuel tanks down the hall. Find some C4. Oh, yeah, you also have to protect Connor in this mission. He's all right. He, he doesn't... It's like, it's not hard to protect him. And he's got, like, se semi-good combat power. Whee! And then they fall through the ground. Oh, yeah, adrenaline mode. It's like, you, you can, uh... Aim for their heads, you do more damage, you can dodge shit more. Get out of my way. Oh yeah, then there's Skynet tech, you pick up pieces of like the machines or whatever, you, you uh, use it to upgrade shit. Whatever. I'm out of here, bitches. Oh, funny story about this, watch. One time, I was too far, too close to the explosion, and all that debris landed on me. And I guess there was like a glitch because like Reese was still like alive and like through the, the all the the rubble, but it just said game over. Dude, I could picture like for the C4, some guy thought he'd be funny and like pull a prank where he switches that with like something that instead of making an explosion, it blasts confetti. You jerk. <laughs> you know what's another thing I like about this game? Talking to people is really beneficial. They give you like weapons and armor and health packs. Even though some of these people are like wounded. It's like, yeah, take my only defense. I won't be needing it. I'm I also like how you're just leaving them behind. <laughs> so so much for no man left behind. We'll come back for you! Thundergun never leaves a man behind! You son of a bitch! No, like, and then they're just waiting. They're still waiting there, and then they walk back. It's about fucking time! Oh yeah, then these machines. These are so, like, uncombat worthy. They just fly up to you and then slowly charge their shock waves. I mean, how are these things that even that dangerous to anyone with common sense? Dude, even if you think about it, um... No, I don't think like, about it. If you think about it, Kyle Reese is like... You know how Kyle Reese is technically John Connor's dad, right? Yep. So it's just like... Like, okay guys, we have to attack at this position. No, I... No, John, I think we should do this. 
No, you, I'm the leader, you do what I say. Do you do what your daddy tells you, John? Well, that'd be odd, disturbing. And the time for some father and son time. <laughs> Look, propane tanks! I sell pro <laughs> propane. Let me just shoot the fucking thing. Ah, no! That's uh, su such quality family time. Did you make like a sitcom out of it? That's another thing I find awkward about this game, but I don't it doesn't really matter to me. Like you have to like auto aim at crap. Like you you can go into like a first person mode, but I'm just looking at the thing. Yeah. You have to like auto aim at crap or you can go into first person mode, but it it, it just sucks. Oh, I guess we can leave. Yeah, if you try to like go anywhere without clearing the area, Connor decides to stay back and try to clear it uh, his, himself. Cuz He's a fucking idiot in this game. In this old hotel oh yeah, and what do you know? They've even got the unnecessary hand gestures when they talk. I just noticed something. No, you did, didn't. You, did you notice how, like, when they walk in, they have guns, but then, like, when they cut to the cutscene, they don't have their, they don't have any guns or anything, and then they go back to having guns when it gets back to the gameplay. The power of magic and science. Yeah, 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 let's get on with it. He's just hanging out there while their place is being attacked. That's the first fro- um, not me, that's the first, uh, flaming barrel I've seen. This apocalypse sucks if you, you can't even- if you don't even see that many flaming barrels. I'm more stunned at the fact that he's just hanging out there while that place is being attacked by a bunch of Terminators. Yeah, good point. Alright, this is a little stupid. You gotta wait for this one to turn green. And before you push that one up, otherwise it restarts. That's stupid. How are you supposed to figure that out? Trial and error. I don't know. Shkriven. Gotta turn the self-destruct sequence activated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll come into play later. Out of my just give me stuff. Okay, and you gotta make sure you wait for the, it to say objective complete. Yeah, because if you go into the into this room with, before that happens, it's dark. It's pitch black. Oh yeah, and they, they call the uh, Terminators like fakers or fakies. I don't know why. Racist bastards. Yes. Oh shit, I'm out of all. Now I gotta switch to the shotgun. Shotgun. Looks fine. Shotgun sucks in this game. Yeah, in case some of you are wondering why we keep like pausing sometimes in the middle of a conversation, it's because. Like, we tried recording this one time, but the gameplay footage came out really dark, so we're just, like, constantly checking it to see everything everything looks fine. And it does right now. No, 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 no. God damn it, where are these things coming from? You bastards. And I love how you keep hearing people on the radio just saying random stuff. It's like, shut up! I'm trying to concentrate here. I don't want to hear that you went to, like, Arby's last night. Okay. Maybe they're not saying that. <laughs> oh my god, we're in the laundry room. Did I ever, t <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the horrible horror movie idea? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Alright, oh, okay. Um... So a few years back, I'm at a uh, Morrow's house, and I'm w I'm with uh, him and Trevor. We're playing Saints Row 2, and um, Morrow uh, at one point customizes his guy to look at um, look like a uh, sort of like a horror movie killer. He's got like the Jason Voorhees mask. He um, he and yeah, he's in like this big black trench coat, and uh, I I'm the one playing though. And then I get a sledgehammer. So what I do is I head to the laundry mat, you know, by the um, uh, trailer park. I did the laundry mat, and I start obviously beating the shit out of people in there with the, the um, the sledgehammer. And then well, all of a sudden we think of like the dumbest type of horror movie ever. We call it Night at the Laundry Mat. You have to survive the onslaught of Chinese owners. Never <laughs> 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 Welcome to and, a sh <laughs> welcome to a shitty wash. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm shooting John. Okay, what? And I'm going to help. <laughs> This is, this could be like night. This could be like night at the laundry mat too. Survive the robot invasion. The robot Chinese people this time. 
Maybe they're made by China, and then the robots took over. Oh, and then they fall. Then they're gonna like fall apart or something. What? I thought China makes top quality stuff. Have you seen the lead paint that they put on that stuff? Yes. Oh wait, yeah, you you were just shooting um, what's his name? You were just shooting Connor Connor earlier. For I, a I, second. I I thought yeah, like there's like no friendly fire. Look, I know. Just look, I know that just because he doesn't want to mow the lawn doesn't mean you have to shoot him. I don't spank my kids. I find that waving the gun around gets the same idea. <laughs> well, just because your kid doesn't want to do your chores doesn't mean you can shoot them. Who says? Oh God damn it! I'm out of ammo again. No, oh, the shotgun looks like it's pretty cool in this game. This is the most dangerous laundry mat I've ever been in. My god, these machines are rusty and shitty. I mean, what is Skynet using? Windows 98? Like I told you, made in China. Nah. You just bumped into the door. No, I, I think it was like a glitch. The shield wasn't fully gone. Outstanding, Reese. Thanks, sir. Yeah, whatever. We just got some skin tech. And you know what? That's it for part one. That's level one for you. Really? Yeah. So I hope this let's play's been going a lot better than the the, the DBZ one. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in part two and just um, kind of upgrade some shit. Tech point. Fuck you. Okay, and uh, we'll see you later, everyone. Join us for part two. See ya. See ya.